Hi, Richard Knutson here. Welcome to this edition of the Dynamic CRM Trick Bag. Now this time, I thought I'd walk you through a sample assessment for the topic of customization and configuration of Dynamic CRM 4.0. Now if you aren't familiar with my company, IMG is based in Chicago and we specialize in consulting and learning solutions for Dynamics CRM 4 in particular and for SharePoint. And if you are familiar with us, you'll probably know that we're very focused on training and certification for Microsoft Dynamics CRM and in particular for the last couple of years we've run the Dynamics CRM Partner Academy program on behalf of Microsoft for its US partner community. Now one of the big goals of this program is to get partner employees skilled and certified on CRM and for CRM 4 there are these three current certification exams that we focus on. Now what I'm going to talk about today in this session is some assessments that are available that you can use to practice before you test. I'm going to show you where they are and walk through some questions on the assessment that corresponds to this exam here. It's exam 30-631 uh, is the Microsoft exam number. Customization and configuration of Dynamic CRM 4.0. And what I thought we could do is walk through a few questions um, from this assessment. Now, these assessments you can get here simply by typing learning.microsoft.com and it'll uh, take you to the learning manager page you can click on uh, assessments the uh, category and then you will see a list of assessments there's about 10 or 12 assessments that are out there now and there are assessments available for each of the three uh, topic areas for the CRM 4.0 exam so this is the customization assessment and in some of the other sessions if you've heard me do any of these other uh, assessment recordings I've mentioned that these are not exactly like the certification exams, but of the three, this one here, this customization configuration assessment, in my judgment, is the best of the three in terms of preparing for the certification exam. This is actually pretty close. These questions are reasonably close to what you'll get on the certification exam, and I definitely recommend you use this. So this first question says you have created a new competitor related entity called a region which contains information about the regions within which competitor operates. The sales director wants you to be able to analyze which competitors are active in which regions. So how can we do this? We have some options here, only one of which is correct. And the way I would analyze a question like this is really to look at which ones we can eliminate first. We could create a one-to-many relationship between region and competitor, but the problem with this is it wouldn't support the business requirements. We'd have the ability to have one region and many competitors, but one competitor could only be in one region because that'd just be the one-to-many relationship. If you flip it, one-to-many from competitor to region, we'd have one competitor with many regions, but one region could only have one competitor. So we need a many-to-many. -many. There's actually two ways you can do a many-to-many -many relationship in Dynamics CRM 4.0. It's an important new piece of functionality that we can create what's known as a native many-to-many -many relationship between competitor and competitor region, in this case the two entities in question. So I can create a many-to-many -many between two entities, but the problem with this native approach, it does have its uses, but this would not allow us to keep track of which competitors are active or inactive in, in the various regions. So what I would do in CRM 4 is still create this uh, so-called manual many-to-many -many relationship. I'd have two one-to-many relationships, one from competitor to competitor region and one from region to competitor region. So I would say that this is the best answer. Let's go to question two. That's actually a reasonably close proximity to the difficulty level that you'll actually see on the certification exam. So let's look at this one. So this has to do with languages. So a user reports the application menus and buttons in French, but online help is in English. So one of the important new features of dynamic CRM 4 is that the user interface and help are both selectable by users under certain conditions to be displayed in uh, local languages. Uh, and since other users in the same office do have online help in French, then we've got an issue. The question is what action do we need to take as an administrator so that the user can see online help in French as well as the user interface. Well, we can eliminate this one and this one because the way the language support works in CRM4 is you install language packs on the server and so we don't have to install any 
French language help files locally on the user's workstation. Plus, there's nothing in here about Outlook, so this is not an Outlook question. There's two possibilities here. We could advise the user to select their preferred help language or give language settings privilege to the user. But the issue, this one won't be correct because the user already sees the user interface in French. So they'll have the language settings privilege, but they apparently haven't selected their preferred help language. I'll show you what that looks like. Here's a good way to see it. If I go to settings in CRM in administration and take a quick peek at security roles, and let's just go to the salesperson security role here. What you'll see if you go to the business management tab is that there is a language settings privilege. It's a miscellaneous privilege and in this case a salesperson would not be able to select this because in the salesperson security role I haven't turned it on. So as the user, the user would go to tools options and you'd note that there's a languages tab and notice that the user interface language and the help language are both independently selectable. I don't have languages turned on in my deployment here but if we did users would be able to select those options independently for help and the UI but only if they had that security role turned on. So the best answer for this question is, a, is this first one since they can already see the uh, user interface in French, so we know they have that uh, privilege available to them. This asks about backing up databases. So we've just installed Dynamic CRM4, organization name of Contoso, data stored in the same SQL Server 2005 computer. SQL Server administrators asked us which uh, databases now need to be backed up. What this question gets to, you know, which SQL databases did CRM install? So I have to pick two of these databases to tell them to back up and there's uh, four options here and this is actually fairly straightforward if you've gone through the install you look at your even if you just look at the SQL Server database after you install CRM there's really two there's no metabase and master is already presumably being backed up doesn't have anything to do with CRM so the two CRM installation will have installed is this MSCRM underscore config and Contoso underscore MSCRM this is the organization database and this is the new configuration database that CRM4 uses to manage the multi-tenancy um, features, an important new feature of 4.0. So those would be the correct answers there. Okay, this question has to do with emails and the CEO wants us to ensure that emails from customers and potential customers are tracked in Dynamic CRM but doesn't want non- business related emails tracked in the application. So how do we do that? Well we have some options here. It says system settings set the option to track email messages from CRM leads, contacts, and accounts. And then the next three options all have to do with personal options. Instruct users to set their personal options. Well if you go to CRM and take a quick look at this what you can see this is actually a pretty good place to see it. If you go to uh, administration and then click on system settings and we go to the email tab. This is what the administrator would do. Notice that there's no option here for the administrator to specify what kind of tracking other than this track emails between CRM users as two activities. I can select the tracking token or not and I can do things like set file size for attachments but the administrator doesn't specify this, the specifics of what happens um, for users. That's going to be on the tools options command. This is a, a uh, user setting and if the user goes to email here's where users can track all email messages, email messages in response to CRM email or s messages from CRM leads, contacts, and accounts. So that's a user option and this question gives us three options there and you'll see these are the three options that, that users have uh, and we want this one here because the uh, we've specified that uh, we want to track email from customers and potential customers which really are leads contacts and accounts well I guess that's all we have time for now so uh, thanks for watching and I encourage you to shoot me an email if you have any questions Richard K at imginc.com or please feel free to visit our website at www.imginc.com